First of all, thank you to Axoon for sending over the product highlighted in this video. So the Axon CineView Quad is essentially a wireless video transmitter system which allows you to send video and audio simultaneously from your camera to a monitor like this one via the receiver transmitter system through HDMI or you can set it up to use an iOS or Android device through the Axon Go app all wirelessly, which is super awesome. And since Axoon allowed me to borrow the CineView Quad for a couple of weeks, I was able to try a couple of different things in order to really test it out and see, one, if it will do what is said it does as far as connectivity and distance, and then two, I wanted to see in a practical nature, is this something that would make it into my camera bag on a regular basis, or is it something that would just be kind of nice to have and maybe isn't worth the price because of that? So those are the two things that I tested for this video specifically. So the first thing that I wanted to test out, like I said, was distance. Now the box and the website both indicate that these devices connect from receiver to transmitter or receiver to the Axoon Go app to up to 500 feet away. Now they indicate that mileage will vary depending on interferences with either obstructions or other frequencies, but realistically it does indicate that there's an extreme amount of distance that you can get between your camera and your viewing monitor. So what I did was a layman's test where I took my camera with a 51.2, basically set in the front yard, and then took my drone for a walk in order to see how far I could get before losing either partial or complete disconnection from the transmitting to receiving units. And honestly, I was really shocked and really amazed at the distance that I could put between the camera and the monitor thanks to the Axoon CineView Quad. Because even though eventually I do lose video transmission, it wasn't until I had completely lost eye line sight to the camera itself and basically put a house between the transmitter and receiving units. It was a good distance. However, to avoid backlash in the comments, I want to mention that I did not technically measure point A to point B when I lost final video connection, but hopefully between the video that I set up and the drone footage together, you can see distance and take my word for it that it is an immense amount of distance that you can put between the units. I think it's really incredible. But now moving on to the second idea of this video was dealing in something more practical. The question being, is this something that I would want to take on a photo shoot, something that I would want to take and put in my camera bag all the time? So for that instance, that's what I did, another layman's test, except this time I wanted to set it up at a photo shoot with a model. So in this case, I did just that. I gave the model her own monitor to be able to see. I set it up on a, on a stand by itself. And then beyond that, I actually went one step further and connected my phone to the top of the camera, turned on the Axoon Go app, and then used my phone as another monitor and also a recorder. So in that case, I have her being able to see a monitor, I can see the monitor, and also mine records for behind the scenes stuff. So realistically, we got two monitors, one of which is recording behind the scenes footage, and the other one the model is able to see. But just like everything else in life, this comes with pros and cons. And the pros being, like I said, that you can record, that there's more collaboration, I felt, between you and your subject. But realistically, the cons would be something like the fact that you might be stuck to a single location or unless you're going to break it down and move it, it can be time consuming. Things like that are things to think about. But realistically, for me, they, those are very small cons when you're talking about what you can actually do and, and interact with your model more than just taking photos. I think it's really interesting. So keep that in mind as well. And just for the video centric people out there, just to mention, you do get video and audio transmission simultaneously. You also get up to 1080, 60 when it comes to actual video transmission. And beyond that, you also get low latency. All of those things together make for a really solid video centric device. Just something to think about there as well. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned something for the video people out there because this is a video centric device, even though me personally, I liked it for having it for the photo shoot but that's just a side. But beyond that, is it worth the cost? It is over $500 plus tax. Is it worth it? In my opinion, I think it is. I think it is a great product. I think it is absolutely worth it. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And I think if it's going to be something that you would use all the time, especially if you want to move more than just video to say iOS or Android devices, and you want to use monitors, this is a perfect device for you to do it wirelessly. However, if the price of the CineView Quad is a little bit out of reach, I would still recommend something like the Cine i2, which I talked about briefly earlier, and I think that this is a really great device that will still allow you to connect to several devices. You still get the access to the Axoon Cine Go app. I think if you can't afford or it doesn't fit in your budget for the CineView Quad, 
check into something like this because their prosumer line is just as good, I think. I think it is an amazing company. I think they have a lot of great products. So this is something to think about. When cost comes into it, yes, I say that it is absolutely worth the cost. If it is still out of your budget, they have other things to think about. So consider that as well. But hopefully if you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed some of the content or the ideas that I've promoted here, hopefully you will go check out their website. It will be linked down below with all of my social links that are normally there that you already know about. But beyond all of that, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's given you some ideas to think about if you're considering picking up the Cineview Quad or if you like already have. Let me know all of those things in the comments. I would love to help you out or just bounce ideas off of you or maybe you bounce ideas off of somebody else in the comments. I love interaction when it comes to like down there in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are a film photographer, a digital photographer, or just enjoy YouTube in general. So hopefully I've got some content out there for you guys. But beyond all of that, I'm going to hit you with my typical peace out and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.